pollutants may have contaminated the city of Corpus Christi drinking water due to a recent backflow incident in the industrial district. In an abundance of caution, the city has released this information and says do not use tap water. Use only bottled water. This is for all purposes. Again, this update from the city of Corpus Christi, a backflow incident leads to a discontinuation of tap water until further notice, and we will keep you posted right here. Good morning, South Texas. Did you guys hear that? They said in Corpus Christi, no one right now is allowed to drink tap water. There's been a backflow of a nasty substance or something like that, that you can only use uh, bottled water to brush your teeth, wash your hair, wash your clothes. I didn't get the whole the whole uh, warning. That, that is a legit warning, you guys, from Corpus Christi. Um, I'm still driving on the way to Brownsville. Corpus Christi is a place on the way over there. It's a pretty, actually, big city. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's messed up. They said something had happened, a back leak of uh, whatever. They said for people not to use tap water until further, no, further notice. Tia, me and Tia already know the, the even the, you know, the tap water where we're at is super, you know, super nasty. And so like that, I mean, everywhere it's just, it's just getting really bad, you guys. But uh, yeah, they said even to brush your teeth, take a shower, wash your clothes, there's a horrible substance in the water. This was just on the news. I mean... You know, on the radio right now. I'm listening to the radio. And then, uh, you know, that came out. So, yeah, it's pretty messed up, you guys. What's up, guys? It's Garrett. Um, it's now 6.47. I have not made one stop yet to go pee. I have to pee really bad. But I'm like, I have maybe like 40 minutes to go. Uh, the drive was an hour, uh, five hours and 17 minutes long. I also chose to go at night because there's no traffic. If you go during the daytime, there's gonna be some traffic. There's gonna be like road construction, roadblocks, school zones, yada yada yada. At night, you just gotta worry about animals. Um, there could be, you know, there's a lot of deer out here. I'm gonna keep my eyes out because if a deer or a boar hits a car of this side, you know, it could do a lot of damage to the motor and just destroy the car and, uh, completely, total the car. I have 100% insurance and gap insurance to cover the total cost of that does happen. But still, I'm not trying to run into an animal right now. All right, so should be there in like 45, 46 minutes. Hey okay, guys, so I'm here, I'm on my way. I'm already hunting, the sun has come up already. Um, I noticed something about the radio is still the same kind of songs, um, basically the same songs on the radio. One thing about, that I noticed about Brownsville is they don't like uh, some kind of, ch well, I don't know if they don't like, but there's not, there's not a lot of change, like, as far as, you know, people having the same job or the same things that are going on. I noticed the radio was playing the same songs that when I used to live here, even, they would play the same songs over and over. Um, but anyways, maybe it's the morning. Maybe they'll play, they'll play different songs in the afternoon. I don't know. But, yeah, the sun's already coming up, you guys. It's already 7, uh, 20. It's a little bit longer than I thought it was going to take. I'm maybe about 17 minutes away. Well, I'm, I'm going to hit San Benito soon. And from San Benito, it's maybe, maybe like 10, 15 minutes away. But uh, I've been wanting to record uh, the San Benito sign. The guy with long hair on it. And every time I, it, you know, it passes, I pass it up, but I don't get a chance to record it. And there's one other, other thing I want to record in Brownsville. Well, there's a lot of things I'm going to record, but there's one thing that I want to record tomorrow, you know, in Brownsville. But anyways, that's another story. Let's, I'm going to see if I can get that uh, tower this time. So you guys, we're coming up on the San Benito sign. I can see it over there. I'm just gonna pause it, and then when I pass by it, I'll, I'll press record. But I can see it up. Well, let me just leave it on just in case, because you know something happens. I don't know. So you're gonna have to wait. You're gonna wait with me. You don't have to, but <laughs> I'm just gonna record it. Okay, just like this, so I don't nothing messes up right now. Lower fares more nonstop. Shut up. Kidding. All right, hurry up. Stupid time. Speed limit is 65 right here, you guys. Dude with long hair. I don't know his name. I don't. I don't. Um, I think they told me before, but I don't exactly remember. This guy just got in front of me. He's going like 30 miles an hour. Okay, 40, 45 miles an hour. But uh, yeah, so that's gonna put a little bit longer of a hold on the recording of the, the sign. Uh, you can barely see it, maybe it's blurry. Oh, 
Hopefully there's not a cop behind me. I'm swerving a little bit. But yeah, there it is. I'm gonna see like maybe I can zoom in. It'll be coming out more clear. Whoa. Yeah, well that's the San Benito sign. Freddy, Freddy, uh, Freddy something or other. Yeah, I've been wanting to record that for a while. Anyways, there it is. Slitterbond, I wonder when it's open. Okay, guys, I had to stop right before Brownsville. This is Olmito. This is Olmito, the city, right before Brownsville. See, the port of Brownsville is right there. Oh, well, I could have made it to the port of Brownsville. Okay, let's make it to Brownsville real quick because, look, the tank is on zero. My bladder is full. And the tank is zero. Okay, this is Rancho Viejo. You see the bar right there? Oh, it's past, uh, Rancho Viejo, but that's the that's the Rancho Viejo bar. I should have just stayed on. Now, like, I literally get stranded, like, right now. Almost made it all the way. Did not, I mean, I'm trying not to get stranded right now. There's a stop sign. I guess I could wait a few seconds. I was before that guy, okay. Um, bad thing to stop and go like that when your gas is like that. Um, there is a gas station close by though, like I said. Tank is empty, by is full. I gotta stop at the gas station, but we have made it to Brownsville. I'm gonna put them together though once, I'm gonna put the video together though once I get to the house. So as you can see here, this brown sign, it says um, Pablo Alto Battlefield. That's the one I showed you last time when I was over here. Not the whole thing, but just like the one cannon or whatever. There's Porter Brownsville right there, that sign. It's kind of blurry. I don't know. I think it's not zoomed in or anything. Maybe there. Anyways, yeah, so... Right up ahead is a gas station not too far from here. Hey guys, so I barely made it to this gas station over here. Um, I barely made it to this gas station over here by the, it's called, it's Sunoco, but Stripes, I don't know. This is Stripes, by that new toll bridge thing they made. But anyways, um, this is where I met my uh, one of my old friends from high school. His name was, this was a long time ago, this was a few years ago. His name was uh, Rodrigo. And uh, I met him here. Well, no, I didn't meet him here. I met him in school. But one day I met him here and we were uh, going to... He talked. He's the first one to tell me about ACT, one of my old jobs um, at ACT. And that's how I, uh, I went out and, go and, went and applied over there. Hello. Hello. Let's finish this trip off, man. Let's go. Okay, I don't know. This that this road here leads to Los Fresnos, guys. This is Brownsville. Um, there's a Palo Alto thing I stopped that last time I left Brownsville. Okay, this road right here, uh, this is called Paredes Line. Paredes Lane. I used to ride my bike and sometimes walk from all the way. It's very far down. It was more for walking and on the bike and stuff, but all the way down here. And I'll take a ride on that road down there where that battlefield is, or on the bike, and I'll go all the way to Little Caesars. The one, uh, it's in one of the videos, I don't know the name of the videos, but uh, the Little Caesars over there I used to work at actually also a long time ago. But yeah, I used to walk from all the way down that road. Can you see how, far, like, it's super far, like, this is not doing any justice whatsoever. But yeah, I'd come all the way down here and I'd go up these hills. There's like some hills over here. And I'd walk sometimes. And it was sometimes, you know, here in Texas, it gets like extremely hot. And I've talked about it in like a few of my videos. So if you guys don't, that's the street parade is line. Um, you know, and I've, I've, I could look, you could look it up on Google Maps. But it took me two hours from there walking to go to Little Caesars. And on the bike, I don't remember how long, but I know it took like two hours uh, at least walking. So yeah. Here we go. Home sweet old home. Okay, the time is 7 45. 
I believe so. 7.49 a.m. So everybody's here, it seems like. We'll do a U-turn over here and park over there. If I can get this phone out of my hand, it would be easier to do a U-turn. Get this phone out of your hand. Okay, let's see. Oof, I'm trying to park just right on the on this grassy park side thing. All right, that's probably good. So we made it to the house, you guys. There she is. Peace. In this video, please like, subscribe, mostly share. Make sure uh, check out the description below. Join feature points, free PayPal, cash, Amazon gift cards, and more. What's that? Who's that down there? <laughs> Uh, Jerry, they have the best chocolate that's striped. Yeah. Like a minute before you came, I knew you were coming that morning. Oh, yeah? Hey, look what your mom made for you. Dad, can you see the baby? Oh, I like that. Can you see it in the camera or no? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, she's driving down. Hey, uh, you guys want to do the mannequin challenge?